Welcome to the third video in our series on PowerPoint co-authoring. If you haven't seen the first two, hit the link in the top right hand corner now, which will take you to the playlist. While you're working on your slides, you might want to chat or leave a comment for your co-authors. And in this next section, we're going to look at how to do that. So commenting is really straightforward. On a Windows computer, you're just going to come to the top right hand corner here, hit the comments button, hit new, add your comment, and there you go. Then on the Mac computer, you have to go to the review tab and show comments, and that will show the comments bar. And there you can see the comment that Alex made, and I can reply as Megan, and then that will show up in Alex's PowerPoint as well. So I think chat is the weakest part of the co-authoring system because the experience is different depending on where you're using PowerPoint. So for example, when I'm in Windows, I've got this little Skype button at the top here and I can press Skype. And if I have Skype for business installed on my machine, it's going to open up a new chat with Megan. So with my other co-authors, so I can start chatting directly with Megan. And that's all good, but compare what Megan sees in the PowerPoint for Mac, she doesn't see the Skype button. It does open up a chat with her so she can see uh, the chat with Alex, which is great, but she can't initiate the chat from PowerPoint herself. She'd have to go and do that through directly through Skype for Business. So that's one weakness there is that there's a difference between what a Windows user sees and what a Mac user sees. So here's another example of why the chat system is a little bit confusing. So so if one of the co-authors opens the slides in the browser on Mac, you see this new icon pop up here in the top right hand corner. And if you drop it down, you see a little chat window. And if I start chatting with the other co-author, they will see my chat in the browser. So let me switch back to Alex, who's using PowerPoint in the browser and see what this looks like. So here we are in Edge. And I've got the PowerPoint presentation open. You can see Megan is also editing and I've got this little chat button here I can press and the chat pane opens up on the right and you can see here's Megan chatting so we can chat back. So you see it's completely different from Skype and Windows. So it's like Windows has one chat system and Mac and the browser has another which is a bit odd and a bit disjointed. So that's a look at the comments and chat features. In the next part of this series we're going to look at how to co-author with guests.